nanotechnology in the DNA using nanical particles with DNA. Now, for y'all that's been watching me for years, y'all know the topics that I speak on and how a lot of people laugh at the title or call it silly um, and don't want to believe it, and that's fine. You know, no love lost here. Because I know a lot of things I talk about, um, it's only a few that's going to really accept it and believe it, and that's fine. When I did that video years ago talking about cloning, some people believe in cloning, some people don't. Why do you think Satan has been after our DNA for so long? This ain't nothing that just started happening. I mean, this ain't something that just started happening, y'all. When you go back to the old covenant, the devil have always wanted our DNA. Cain killed Abel. Abel didn't even get a chance to start a family. This is why when you talk about the seed, the bloodline, it's so important. The blood. How in the beginning the Most High said everything that he created, it was good. But have you ever asked yourself why in the Old Covenant, the Watchers, as known as the Fallen Angels also, why did they do what they did? Why did those fallen ones saw that the daughters of men was fair, slept with them, had those giants, some may say nephilims, some may use the term geeba babies. I'm tying all this in together. How Satan hates man. We have a chance to have eternal life. He lost his spot. Now, I ain't going to say if they can. The enemy been doing this for years. And keep in mind, let me say this off top. I've been saying this for years. Everybody is not human. So when you start talking about messing with DNA, that's been going on. Even in the animals. That's why I was telling y'all back then how they were mixing different animals together. This is why when you back back up to Leviticus, the book of Leviticus in the Old Covenant tells you any man that lies, lies with a beast, mankind that lies with a beast, let both of them be put to death and the blood shall be upon their head. Why? Because back in Noah's day, they had already messed with the animals. What did he tell Noah? Take two by two. It was already corrupt. Bloodline, DNA has been tampered with for years. This is why Yahshua had to come through Mary. Somebody catch that later on. What Mary had to do, what Eve should have done. Somebody catch that later on. This is why Christ is known as the second Adam. Somebody catch that later on. And some already caught that. Some may have never heard the name the second Adam. Because once sin stepped on the scene, everything got corrupt. That's why the Bible said that even the creation is groaning and moaning to get back to its original state. Man, everything is messed up. And that's why judgment is going, it's got to hit harder and harder. That great, great Heavy judgment. You ain't seen that yet. But you see judgment. But I said all that. Let me get back to this about the DNA. There's so much nanotechnology. Technology, excuse me. And, and it's not just corrupting and damaging the DNA. 
you look at cosmetics, nanotechnology is in cosmetics. A lot of women get mad when I talk about this because I did an old video talking about how dangerous makeup is. Certain soaps you wash your body with, deodorant, something as simple as toothpaste. It's so much part nanoparticles and pretty much everything that you don't really know what you put inside your body. You don't know what you put inside your skin. And you wonder why cancer is at its highest. Now, I'm not sitting there to say I know it all, y'all. Just, just, just feel me. I would never think I know it all. But facts. This sickness got to come from somewhere. Whether it's the food, the cosmetics, the, the synthetic drugs. See, like I said in the last video, it's also in the medical field. I remember one doctor was telling me how nanotechnology has played a big part in the MRIs that they give you. Think about that. Can, that, can nanotechnology mess with your brain? But why is the DNA so important for the devil? Well, remember who image we was made in. So since the devil can't create, he have to imitate. And by him being the God of this world, prince of the power of the earth, he's able, as the most high allow him, he's able to do a lot of things. This brother P.P. drawing left a powerful man. He said, the only way we're going to be able to survive all this stuff is just living righteous. Even if it costs us our lives. Why do, they want, why do they want to mess with this DNA so much? Think about this. One thing about the DNA. Mechanical. Physical. Chemical. Devices. I'm going to say it again. Mechanical, physical, and chemical devices. Let that sit in for a moment. One more time. Mechanical physical, chemical devices. Your DNA could be damaged and the DNA is being damaged so much. Why do you think they're always trying stuff on animals first? See what can it, what can it hold? Hmm. Sister Shelby, yes, like I said in the last video, if you really study, you'll see the nano the nanoparticles off in a lot of dairy products. Facts. The devil always had a way of thinking that he could stop Yahshua from coming in here. How do you try to stop somebody from being born? You either gonna kill him or you gonna tap him with the DNA. So I said, Abel never had a chance to have children. Cain killed them. So Satan with his, what, what do the Bible say? Be wise as a servant. He ain't wiser than the Holy Spirit. Be wise as a servant, but harmless as a dove. He always thought he could had a way of stopping Yahshua from getting in here. Oh, he's slick. But we know somebody who's all knowing. So when you put two and two together, he had the the Antichrist have have to mess with the DNA. If you can try to throw somebody DNA off, then you what? Come on now, y'all know y'all already know the rest of that. And this is why it's so important not to do drugs, not to mess up your mind, not to get drunk. Not to stay high all the time. Not to do... Because your thinking, your process is all messed up. Your brain, what you're doing. You, you, you don't never supposed to destroy your temple that the Holy Spirit blessed you with. Poison is all over this land. So like I said in another video, from the water on down... I came outside the other day and saw 
Saw another one of them playing this Kim trails everywhere. Falling, falling, falling. People I was talking to some people, they say they don't believe in Kim trails. They don't believe that stuff can fall from the uh, of the sky and, and hit us, hit the ground, hit the soil, mess up everything. But like I stated as I close, I ain't gonna make this video too long. I'm gonna go back to Revelation 13 once again. When the Bible says those signs and wonders that's coming from heaven in front of mankind and it was not the Holy Spirit. It was the Antichrist. The wicked ones. One more golden nugget. Remember Job. Holy Spirit allowed Satan to have access to the weather to cause those storms on Job. Now Job was an upright man. Man who shunned evil. So if he allowed it to happen to Job, then attack on Job's body. Who am I to say it ain't happening now? Am I better than Job? Are we better than Job was? I leave you on that. Shalom.